Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Let's Play Diablo 2 Median XL. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Thank you for all the kind comments in the last video as well. And in the last episode, we've been really just exploring like mad lads. And um, I think one commenter had like probably the perfect explanation for how we're going about this. It's like running through Diablo 2, at least in this area, like a chicken with its head cut off, and I totally agree. There's so many things going on. There's so many areas to explore, and the area is so massive that literally we're just running around everywhere, freaking out, and going, oh my god, what the heck? What the hecky wecky is all this stuff, man? But, uh, I mean, that's Diablo for you, dude. Right, we got two diamonds here, but uh, we're gonna not do another episode of Bane freaking fixes his inventory, but we're just gonna toss these bad boys in here. There we go, and we've already ruined it all. Sweet. That was the plan all along. <laughs> you guys thought the inventory was clean forever? Nah, nah, nah. Never. You can't make me. Ooh, what's this one? Hit recovery, block speed. Ooh, huge defense buff. Apparently amulets gonna have defense on them, which is actually insane. Um... It might just be a better idea to switch this stuff over. Maximum damage, eh. I don't know, obviously the minion damage is dope, but... Maybe we do go for the hit recovery, block speed. Nah. I'll hold on to it for now. And by that, I mean... I'll pray that I remember not to sell it. Okay. Let's go sell some crap. Let's go to the blacksmith. And now we gotta remember, because whenever we, we sprint... Togo sprint, defense equals zero. Good th Bad things happen to good people. Also, if it sounds like I'm tired... It's because I just woke up. All right. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, no. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. 76 defense. Eh. Sell it forever. Kill it with fire. Do you want to keep getting these uh, rejuvenation potions? I don't know. I don't know. Get the super duper potions and the, yeah, I think we're looking pretty solid here. I do miss good old what's his face. Um, oh, I already forget his name. I know, I'm a monster. Was that weapon really called Shadow Realm? No, Shadow Ram. Okay, whew. We almost went to hell. By the way, if you didn't know, in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, um, the Four Kids version, which is the version that we got in the West, with the English dub, if you will, um, called Hell the Shadow Realm. Because hell was too much for children. Can't believe it. Can't believe it, man. <laughs> was this game rated uh, T for Teen or E for Everyone? I can't remember. I have to assume it was... Uh... I'm sorry, not E for Everyone. What am I talking about? Turn that E and then uh, rotate it 90 degrees to the right and call that M. But yeah. Wonder, is this game Was this game rated T for Teen or M for Mature? I remember... Uh... ESRB stuff is always really funny to me because whenever I play through like Final Fantasy or something like that, especially like Final Fantasy Tactics, like there's always those games that you run through and you're like, how did this get past the ESRB? You know, like there's certain bits of dialogue or subtleties or things like that. Where you're just like, huh, as I read this, that's a bit too mature, you know? It goes a bit too overboard in certain uh, in certain realms. You think that they would uh, they would tone it back a little bit, right? And then the ESRB just comes in like, nah, it's T for Teen. Or you'll get something really bizarre, like uh, with the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, where it comes out T for Teen, and then there's some sort of like. I don't even think it was really in the game. It was like some sort of statue that doesn't even exist in the game in its current state that had like nudity on it. And uh, because you could patch it in or mod it in, they decided to make the game rated M for Mature instead of T for Teen. Just super bizarre. Also, these, these DK nerds are just like making me lose my mind right now. All right. Ooh, EXP bust, though. Man, they are hitting me hard. Okay, we don't even need to be on this side. I just 
for some reason was being kited all the way up in here. Deal with these nerds. Okay, now we're good. Okay, let's run back. <laughs> Insanity. Insanity. But yeah, ESRB rating video games. It's super weird. Do you guys know that you also have to re-rate your game every time you release DLC for it? I guess that makes sense. I guess if you were to add, like, something crazy to your game, like, uh, the 18 plus patch, ooh, you know, that's the patch I go for every day. <laughs> that's the one I've always wanted. Where's my 18 plus pat uh, patch for this game? Where's my H Doom 64? You know what I'm saying? Just look at them all fall over. This is so great. All right. Oh wait, there was a. Um, how did I miss this one? Oh, did I did I take the waypoint and then run straight down? Okay. I'm not the brightest toolkit. Oh, I never actually grabbed the waypoint. Okay. How am I not dead? Jesus Christ! I was not paying attention. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're in. Uh, we're in upper Kudast. Upper Kuris. Did we did we go into the sewer yet? I'm pretty sure we already did the sewer. I mean, we'll find out. Okay, we already did the sewer. What is this? Okay, hold on. Search for Killim's flail and Travancall. Alright, well, the sewer gets to chill out in there. We're gonna go to Travancall. Which I'm guessing is way up here. Oh my gosh! We're missing a lot of dudes. Dude, we're just getting hit. Left and right. I just want to say how crazy hectic this game is now. It's absolutely insane. Also, the game got updated, by the way. Median XL got updated. It's 1.5.1. Uh, if you're wondering what they changed, it's little bug fixes. So it's nothing major. I read through the patch notes. And I'm like, oh, okay. This is stuff that doesn't matter. Uh, one cool thing is that your uh, town portals are now colored based on which player number you are. So that's actually kind of convenient. I do like that quite a bit. Disused reliquary, eh? Hello, ma'am. I just need to check on you real quick. Need to make sure that you're still dead. Uh, turns out you're still dead. I'm noticing a theme here. They sure like having those giants in these areas. Why are we getting minor healing potions again? I don't know what the hell that was, but it was scary. Oh, no, not spine gone. Those things are nasty. I don't like them. I don't like them. Get them out of here. Uh, oh. We got levels again. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do one, two, three. So I have seven points left over for Dex. Hey, there we go. Skill tree. Blood skeleton. I think. I think blood skeleton would be cool. Extra health. I mean, they do get just obliterated. Obliterated. Real good. Or more damage on the Abyssal Knights. Hmm. It's kind of insane just how much health the Iron Golem gets. <laughs> you just forever god tier. Or do we just go for more minion damage overall? I think our Blood Skeletons are dying too much. Yeah, and we do get more damage. We go to from 46 to 61 to 58 to 73. Yeah, I guess we just level the Blood Skeletons. I think that's the right choice. They were dying super quick though. What the hell? Oh, that's what the door sound is. It has a loud click on it, right? That's when you know there's a, a trap. I gotcha. Boom, man. Baskets. I have a basket case today. Actually, how many keys do we have left? All right, we got... We got uh, why does it say item level is 12? We, we have 20 keys left. Why would there be an item level for keys? Weird. We must get the more powerful item level. That's another thing about Oblivion. It's like, 
there's certain things you can unlock with a security tree, and so, like, there's five different levels of it, but then there's also magic spells that you can get. There's five different levels of magic spell, depending on the lock that you, that you cast uh, your spell on. And I'm just like, it's funny to me because if you have a master lock, I guess apparently the person that made the lock um, used some sort of magical spell to ward off wizards from opening your chest. It's obviously a gameplay mechanic, but I just find it funny. It's like, wow, this really is a master lock. Oh. I keep forgetting there's uh, these lovely little items in the area, like uh, weapon racks and whatnot, right? Alright, let's not sprint around. I keep remembering, or I keep forgetting and remembering that there is a huge, huge downside to just sprinting like a mad lad. Like, sure, it's fine to sprint, but not fine to sprint in the middle of combat. It's the wrong, it's the wrong choice. Don't do it. Bad, bad move. We will, however, kick all these skulls and show them who's boss. If you're a skull and you're in my way, you're getting kicked. Because therefore, I can get loot. And uh, you can't really passive loot, so... Defile defilement of someone's corpse, a once living being, in this case, many living beings, or loot. I think the scale kind of outweighs on the loot side. I think I think we just get all the loot. There's a big boss lady over there. And she's dead. <laughs> oh, Umbra! I have a good friend named Umbra. He's in Australia. Hope he's doing alright. I haven't talked to him in forever. I don't even know if he watches my videos anymore. But uh, we used to play Minecraft together all the time, man. Umbra's a good guy. I always used to call him Umbra. He corrected me. It's Umbra. Inaru. Inaru. Hey, we got another waypoint up here. In fact, uh, I have a full playthrough with Umbra on the channel of Orcs Must Die. <clears throat> I think it was the second one. Orcs Must Die 2. Was it the second one? I can't remember. But regardless. Man, that was a long time ago. That was a lot of fun, though. If you guys want to watch a crazy ride where we were even, like, topping the world for a while, I think. Only losing to bots. We were, we were closely competing with other people. Uh, for first place, as we were just casually going through the Let's Play of, uh, Orcs Must Die. And, like, we came up with all the crazy cool strats. It was, it was just really something else. Combos, and then that game. Oh man, so good. Just, uh, reminiscing about it makes me kind of want to go back to it at some point. But yeah, this is one of the earliest Let's Plays I've done on the channel. And the earliest one I ever completed was, like, the original Portal. Portal 1. That was an easy game to, to Let's Play. <laughs> Because all I had to do was go to school, and school is only like six and a half hours a day, so it really doesn't take up much time. It's kind of funny, you don't realize just how little school takes up when you're uh, when you're much younger, even though when, when you're young and you're in school, you're like, Oh my god, I, I hate school. How dare they make me do it. It's the worst thing ever, I hate it. And then you go and work like your standard eight hour, eight and a half hour shift. Hell, some people even work the 12 hours. Um, and you're like, wow, school was basically no time at all. And you got a 30 minute lunch and you got two 15 minute recesses. Unless you live in Japan or some country that changes that up a bit. And uh, at least where I was in North America, Canada, um, in this case. It's like, man, you got off easy. You gotta have easy. You don't even have to really pay for it. Oh, Zara the Mad. Hello, Zara the Mad. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, uh, people are gonna kill him. Oh no, we're good. Okay. Where, where for art thou, Zara the Mad? That is your real name. He absorbs fire. I love these totems, dude. I, I want to spot this guy before he kills all my dudes, but it must be in this room here. 
compelling orb. Oh, he was right there. <laughs> you know, he's the guy that died right there. Okay. We got him. Look at all this crap out there. So many creepy ass bugs. Nasty, dude. Nasty. Absolutely disgusting. Another sorceress. Get that out of here. Damn you sorceresses. That's funny, I was actually very close. Like if I if I didn't choose or if you guys didn't choose Necromancer for me, I probably would have chosen Sorceress, because uh she seemed really cool. There's an awesome uh, Let's Player on YouTube, and I can't remember his name, and I apologize, but uh, he also has a lot of really nice guides. Uh, I said earlier, like, oh man, all the guides on YouTube for this game, at least for Vanilla, Diablo, I don't even know about Median XL, probably even less so Median XL. Um, all the guides to this game were like, all right, well, once you hit level 99, then you're a cool person. And it's like, oh god, I'm not even level one yet, you know? If I, if I can remember the name, I'll, I'll try and remember for the next video, but he does, uh, does speedruns for the game. He's played through a bit of Diablo 3 and stuff like that. Um, really big Diablo guy, it seems like. Um, and, and pretty well spoken as well. And he just has like these great full playthroughs of like normal, uh, medium and hard, or normal nightmare and hell. And, uh... Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I was watching him play Sorceress, and uh, she seemed really fun. I do like mages in a lot of games, and that definitely would have been my choice for a vanilla playthrough. So if we do a vanilla playthrough, then maybe I'll go ahead and do the Sorceress, because I think that would be a lot of fun. And uh, by the way, when I say vanilla playthrough, I mean playing with Pluggy, because no way in hell am I doing anything else other than that. Other than, unless we do like multiplayer, because Pluggy is not compatible with that, but Pluggy mod makes it so we have like infinite inventory. That's P-L-U-G-Y, if you've never heard of it before. Really easy mod to set up. In fact, I have it set up right now for vanilla Diablo. Make sure you don't play with the most modern version of Diablo. You play with the one before they patched it a couple of years ago. And with that random patch out of nowhere, but it's definitely worthwhile. At least in my opinion. Oh wait, there's that uh, reliquary there, that thing that we couldn't touch. But I'm assuming now we can, and it's highlighted as an important object, so perhaps it is what we're looking for. I, just got, I went into full exploration mode because I was like, huh, I can't do anything here. Alright, Gambison, just gonna quickly scroll through everything. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I it. Can't. Impossible. Huh. Oh, wait, there's also other stuff up there. Hold on. Wait, is this where the guy died? Maybe he died over here. <laughs> oh, there it is. Killian's flail. Jesus. The guy died over here. I thought I killed him up in the, the main zone. No. He's dead over here. Oh, my gosh. This is the Marathon. Alright, all you guys go fight those tentacle demons. Oh, look at him. It's like a little puppy. He's sticking his head out of the water. Cute. Alright, anyway. Not really that great of a flail. All things considered. Uh, we could probably get some extra dialogue here. So let's head back. Now that we have everything. Yep, there you go. Once properly imbued, Kalim's flail can destroy the compelling orb and reveal the way to Mephisto. Place it into the Horodric cube along with Kalim's relics, his heart, his brain, and his eye. Then transmute them to carry out Kalim's will. Ridding Kurast of the Council of Zakarum was essential. Still, there is more you must do. The compelling orb, too, must be destroyed. Diablo and Bale must be close to finding their brother Mephisto by now. You've no time to waste. Understood, Lord Kane. Have you met Natalia? She appears to be a member of the Kral Harjek, a secret order that has been around for centuries, almost as long as the Herodrum itself. Her presence here makes me uneasy, for they are traditionally sworn to hunt down magi who have betrayed the trust of their order. I wonder why she is here. 
interesting hunting down the mages kind of getting obviously this game came out before but like i'm getting those like dragon age vibes 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 apparently a vibe apparently has two v's in it brain okay <laughs> well yeah uh, yeet down the ground, and uh, how's this guy looking? Yeet. Later. Okay, sweet. Let us combine, my friends. Let us combine. Although, hold on. Diablo and Bale have surely found the temple city by now. They seek to free their brother, Mephisto, who was imprisoned by the Haradrim in the temple's guardian tower. You must reach him before his brothers do and prevent them from releasing hatred upon the world. I could not agree more. For one who spends so much time away from home, Meshif has taken Kurast's corruption the hardest. Hmm. Make haste. Though the three are sure to reunite, it is uncertain as to what they have planned once they do. Be cautious, my friend. Though you are mighty, no mortal can stand alone against the power of the prime evils. That's why I have a bunch of immortals next to me, my friend. That's how it works. All right, we have a bunch of quest progression. Automatically complete Blackened Temple. Very nice. The Guardian, Len Guardian Leviosa, smash the compelling orb with Kalim's will to open the way to Mephisto's endurance. Okay. These two quests will be completed essentially at the same time. We'll complete this one when we craft the item, and then we'll complete Guardian when we uh, actually destroy the object. Okay. The ancient Haradrim always feared that the three would escape their prisons and unite. I can't believe that I, the last of their order, have seen it come to pass. You are the only one who can prevent this, my friend. The final hour draws near. Hell yeah. I'm surprised how quickly we just progressed the storyline because I'm like, man, we're like three quests behind. How much Yes. How much is left in Act 3? Oh my goodness. I hear there is a little family reunion about to take place in Karaz. The three brothers draw close. Reunion cloud. Alcor is a potion dealer given over to a life steeped in ceaseless study and dissipation. I love all the gossip. That's one of my favorite things about the game, is just the gossip. Listening to what the people think about the different characters it really flushes out the world. Alright, Natalia, you cool devil you. Greetings. Now you rush to face Mephisto. Don't give in to your hatred. That is his greatest weapon against you. I'm still curious as to what the heck this one quest is. It's not even a hint. What would be nice is if we got a tiny hint that wasn't spoilery on the quest list. And it's like, if you just go here, maybe, <laughs> maybe you'll find what you're looking for, sir. Okay. Uh, again, we're going to talk to everyone real quick. That's a median XL, like, hell mode thing or whatever the heck you guys have told me. Do, 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 do. That's what I get for uh, going into this mod blind, by the way. I, when I said I went into this mod blind, it's true. I just, I saw it, it looked cool. I think I might have seen like a Riker video on it or something. I was like, ah, oh, this is the coolest thing ever. And uh, it's really revitalized my love for Diablo. And I'm like, ooh, okay, all right, I'll give it a shot. Don't you? <laughs> Move quickly, my friend, and end this curse once and for all. Once and for all. Any more gossip? The dark side is apparently the only civilized area left in Kurast. Shit. Ain't it everywhere? And then we got the mercenary lady, and then we got Alchemist Man. Good day. The Iron Wolves and I have made a good living around here lately. I don't know why they're called Iron Wolves. In Warhammer, they're called um, Space Wolves because they fight wolves in space. It's not true. They fight them on their planet. And then they ride them into battle. They also uh, have, like, giant fangs. Like, the actual space marines have giant-ass fangs. They're crazy, dude. They literally bite their opponent. They're nuts. Some space marines back in the day would spit on their opponent. And then uh, their, their saliva had was acid. 
but for some reason they lost that ability, so a lot of the gene seed don't have. I mean, it doesn't make any sense, man. What? Where the? You know how cool it is? You can just spit venom on your opponent. That's freaking crazy. What do you need? Plutley's only good for making his silly magic weapons. It's not like he's got the stones to actually go out and use them in anything. Damn. I'm just fighting words. We have seen Diablo, but remain unsure of his brother's whereabouts. Don't worry, brother. All right. Out we go. Well, first off. Okay, hold on. Where can I stand so I don't actually lose anything? All right, here you go. Boop. Oh, this will work nicely. I just put it in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Put that potion over here, please. Oh, let's have a random axe in there. Boop, 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 boop. And combine. Okay, this thing. Oh my god. Level 6 lava pit? Oh my goodness gracious. Someone also said, I think if you repair items in this game, it just recharges everything, which is nice. So, before we sacrifice this thing to the dark gods, I'm assuming we have to equip it and then hit it. Mace class. 20% attack speed, 29% enhanced damage, 10 to 26 attack because of that, plus 10 max damage, 150% bonus to attack rating, plus 15% to vitality, plus 15% to energy, increase maximum life and mana by 20%. Oh, you can just do that? Okay. And then plus five life after each kill. Bro, this is a great, great weapon for me. I'll just stay alive forever and never die. Good job, everyone. We did it. I'm proud of everyone here. That's right. Even you, Timmy. We did it. We did it. Masterfully done, hero. You have crafted Kalim's will. Employ it to destroy the compelling orb and open the way to Mephisto. May the true light guide your way. And may it yours, brother. The ancient hor- Oh, hold on. <laughs> Alright, anyway, can I talk to anyone else about this? Good day. Oh, no, I guess that's it. Okay, good. Pretty sure we already talked to everyone about Kaleem's will. Anyway, ah, to Traven Call. I didn't even realize this was Traven Call, to be honest. I was just running around. Ooh. I left that gold there. That was a close one. I love all the skeletons, man. They're just vicious. They want blood. I can't. Yeah, so we literally do have to equip it, okay. You know what? <clears throat> nah, let's just do this. Oh wait, we should we should remove these these gems. How have we not found a better site yet? Maybe we have and I just not paying attention. Uh Oh, it does break it. Piece of shit. The Durance of Hate, level one. Da -da -da -da. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Thank you so much for watching. In the next one, we'll probably go in there. And also, could someone tell me what the hecky wecky this thing is here on the bottom lefty? Because I have no freaking idea, <laughs> and I don't want to miss it. I hope it's not a missable quest. If it is, I mean, it looks like a book, right? So maybe we missed a bookshelf somewhere. Uh, which is absolutely possible. That shit happens all the time for me. I miss literally everything. There's literally gold up here. I haven't picked up. There's a flood. <laughs> lot of turquoise over here. Like you see, it's very common. Um, so please let me know. As long as it's not a super spoiler. Uh, not that it really matters to me too much. But just in case, you know? Just in case, bro. Just in case. And I will check the comments before the next video. And thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't already, consider giving this video a like. Tell your friends about the series. Because we back. We back in Diablo 2, baby. As well as, uh, of course, when we finish up this uh, Let's Play, we'll be doing Diablo 3. Which I know not everyone's a big fan of Diablo 3. But the idea was we play through Diablo 1, then 2, then 3. And then, of course, when Diablo 4 comes out, whenever that is, we'll play through that. And then before Diablo 4, we'll be playing... Oh, God, as I attack my microphone. Apologies. <laughs> Crazy man I am. Uh, before Diablo 4 comes out, between Diablo 3 and Diablo 4, we'll be playing through... Uh, like, probably another run of Beelzebub on Nightmare. Obviously, we'll just run through it and have a lot of fun. I want to try out, like, a bow class, maybe. We'll play it on normal. Or maybe we'll do... 
I don't know, something on Diablo 2. Maybe we'll try and rush our way into hell uh, after we do this on normal. Like, there's tons of different choices. And, of course, always leave your suggestions down below for future Let's Plays. Obviously, we still have two more acts to go, right? Two or three. Yeah, two more acts to go after this one. Because I think Act 5 is the DLC. I, I call it DLC. The expansion. Back in the day when expansions were a thing. Oh, my gosh. It's crazy. All right, guys. I'm Akamane101, and I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy. Bye-bye.